Ghosties, you've literally never failed me in the past. I need your help with this. Uh, Jake and I have an inside joke, an argument, a uh, disagreement, if you will. <laughs> uh, we need your help to get to the bottom of this. We were driving home uh, last week from Top Golf, and I forget what the conversation was, but you were like, uh, you you mentioned the movie What Women Want, and uh, during this conversation, wait, that's how it started. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. We already we don't even remember what happened last week. That's right. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 said something like, you know, I know that they say this and what women want, and I go, <laughs> what? This doesn't even sound right to me. Oh we, I mean, gosh. we haven't even got to the main part. Okay, whatever. <laughs> well, what what, what I, do you remember? I, I think I quoted some other movie, and you're like, you know, that's one of those movies that I don't know very well. There's like three no. movies. No, you mentioned what women want no. in the car. I promise that. I know uh, that for a okay. fact. Okay, well, the ghosties weren't in the car, so I guess we can't have them settle that. <laughs> but if the ghosties could prove my other thing right, then that shows that I remember things. Okay, okay, okay. Keep so, going. So Jake <laughs> definitely mentions what women want. I know it. And I go, I go, there's a few movies out there that I just don't like know that you know really well. Like what women want and other ones and you're like whoa 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 i've never talked about what women want yeah that's and i was not- like you talked about it on the podcast like <laughs> a few weeks ago i've never i i don't know this movie i've never seen this movie so ghosties <laughs> out there i need your help to prove me right jake has mentioned what women want in a previous podcast i don't know exactly i'd guess in the past six podcasts six oh, or seven recent episodes. Yes. I've talked about this movie. Yes, dude. And I quote it. It's yeah. one of the top three no, movies I quote. Will, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say, maybe I said quote. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All I know is that you talked about it on the podcast and then you talked about it again. And I'm like, that's one of those ones I can't relate with you on because that one and Goodwill Hunting is the ones I use as examples. That's like, true. That's I've true. I've never seen those movies and I know that you like them a lot. You <laughs> talked about them a lot. You're like, I've never talked about I what women want in my life. I've seen it once in my life. It's like, yeah, no, you did. <laughs> so tell us. Ghosties, please listen back to all of our episodes just in case. But specifically, more recently, Jake mentions what women want, and I need the vindication. I need it. I'm like, 10% of me is nervous because I'm like, am I just. 100% of me is not nervous at all. I know it. But 90% of me is like, I've. this isn't like, oh, maybe I like fabricated a story and I can't remember what I said. This is just like, I know, I just know that I don't know. Here's what I know about what women want Mel Gibson. Mm hmm. He's the main character. Yeah. He has some disease or hypnosis. I don't even know how. He has some ailment. See, this now- is what happens. You keep talking about what women want and I don't know because I've never <laughs> seen it. But you talk about it all the time. But this is me saying, I do- <laughs> he has some condition where he can read women's minds. Okay. And that's the end of what you remember about And that's about what I know. And I remember when we were hanging out, we had Saturdays with uh, all of our ghosties two weeks ago. Uh, I think it was Aubrey Magoon, Jill Harris, one of them were like, oh yeah, last movie I saw was What Men Want. And I go, oh, is that just like a, the opposite of What Women Want? Uh-huh. Crap. That makes me nervous a little bit now that you say that. Oh, okay. Because we definitely, I remember that conversation. Okay. And I'm like, oh, great. But I think, guys, <laughs> I'm still confident. I'm still <laughs> confident. And I know it's like a, it was going to be, it was like a quick offhanded comment. It wasn't like Jake and I had a discussion about What Women Want. It was a quick one. So just, just prove Go back right. and listen to every episode just in case. Here we go. Let's get it. Uh uh oh, ooh I ooh I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. Addy, it's 11.19. It's past your bedtime, baby. Go to bed. <laughs> it's 11.19 p.m. Come on. Um, and everything's falling apart. We, our light bulb doesn't work. Uh, my microphone broke last week. I spent 20 minutes trying to fix it. It's it's working. And then I was like, all right, let's record. And then my headphones broke. <laughs> so pets' heads uh, are falling off. Our pets' heads are falling off. And so, uh, hey, we're doing our best, but we're here. We're recording. It's Saturday night. I had a last minute trip to Nashville come up. I don't even think I mentioned it in the podcast last week that that was happening. I just noticed I, I hadn't looked at you this whole time. I decided to double headphone. It. <laughs> That's real noise canceling right there, baby. I'll tell you, it, it doesn't sound good. It sounds like there's an <laughs> echo inside of my brain. I actually hate the way it sounds. This is not going to last much longer. <laughs> when we went to Phoenix and watched you do your uh, stand up show with Trey Kennedy, uh, the third, uh, we... <laughs> Uh, like my, my actual like noise canceling headphones went out. And so I put my Apple ear pud, ear, earbuds, ear putty, ear pods. I think they're called ear pods. If they're not uh, wireless, put my ear pods in and then put my noise canceling ones over them to like help muffle the noise. Oh yeah. I look cool. I know. <laughs> I, looked as, I looked as cool as you did. 
Right. Do I look cool now? You look very cool. Okay, cool. You look like a cartoon character. (laughs) <laughs> in a good way like like you, you were on recess schools out i think okay that. thanks yeah, for sure. thanks 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 so. uh yeah it's late saturday night and we're getting it done i had to go to nashville tomorrow's uh you know right now for us father's day mm-hmm. so what are you doing for father's day brad uh not a whole lot anything going, you want we're going to church I'm, I'm working in the nursery so you know nothing's better than working with a bunch of one-year-old babies on oh father's i day. thought you were gonna say like trees and flowers maybe maybe i'm one-year-old trees yeah um my, my peach tree got a got a baby that thing actually, i actually have a video of henry uh he was like trying to explain to me how to like plant these elderberry bushes and i was like can i just take a video of you to send to Catherine?" and so maybe i'll post that on patreon <laughs> <laughs> um but uh we're going to nursery tomorrow at church and then i think we're going to go chewy's for dinner so just kind of hang out in the during the day so Right, what do you time. think about the idea I had a couple hours ago at Pickleball? Oh, yeah. Where we just get <laughs> our friends awesome. together and watch a Chiefs game, like an old Chiefs game. Yeah. I hadn't seen Gunner in a long time. I was like, hey, man, let's watch a Chiefs game together sometime. Uh, and you're like, let's do that even now. That's just, let's not wait till September. Let's do it right now. Do we still watch the commercials just to make it feel? No. Okay. We do or not. maybe do we watch like the, like we were court or we fast forward through the first few commercials. Like we DVR'd it because we were coming late from church <laughs> and then we get caught and up. And then we get caught up later. Ah. And we're like, gosh, we're caught up. We're caught up now. All right. Yeah. Well, Hey, I need to go to the bathroom anyway. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, Hey, we got to see each other today, which has been fun. Mm-hmm. I've had a long day in the sun. Yeah, you have. I did about five hours of, uh, 18 holes of golf, five hours, 18 holes. And then, uh, celebrating Scott's cell tonight. I had about mm-hmm. two and a half hours of pickleball. Yeah. Dude. It's been a lot of time in the sun today. Which golf is more of like a crock pot of sweat. Like you're never exerting that much energy, but it's like 95 degrees out. It's humid. consistent. You're yeah. out there the whole time. Just There's a, not much shade probably. No. Yeah. Just a slow trickle of sweat for right. five hours. Yep. Go home, get some chilies to go, pick sure. a ball. I feel disgusting because I've sprayed, I've sweat all day and I've also s- applied sunscreen to my face multiple times, mm. you know? So, so you got like layers on layers of this. Oh, it's cake. Grime. Yeah. Yeah. Grime cake. You got grime cake. Hashtag grime cake. I got grime cake all over me, yeah, but yeah, yeah. it's been a good day and it was fun. It's fun pickling, fun seeing our friends. I met some new friends. Always fun to meet new people. Yeah, that was fun for me. It's always fun when you meet people that I've known for a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. They, were, they were high school friends of mine and yeah, it was fun Fun to. Ruxton and Britt. That's pretty pretty much it. Thank you. Rustin and Bree. His brother's name is Britt. His brother's name is Britt. Which is confusing. Brother Britt, wife Bree. Okay, pretty much had it. Pretty much had it. But yeah, it was fun times with them. So shout out to them. They said they might listen to our podcast. Yeah. Do we believe them? And we'll see. Rustin, are you leave listen? us a five-star review if you listen. Are you listening? Or if your name is Rustin, then you're not from my high school. Still leave a five-star review. <laughs> still. Yeah. Still. Uh, okay, so I was in Nashville for some of this week. Mm-hmm. What, what were you doing, Brad? I feel like I had something going on every day of the week, and I, I'm going to try to remember them all. It was probably work. Yeah, I did have work. Um, also... We'll get to we'll get to the rest of what I did this week on Monday and Wednesday. Yeah, Had yeah, a busy yeah, yeah, Monday yeah, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then what did I do? What did I do? I can think of things. I can do all things. <laughs> you you know I ask you this every week, know, right? Like I know. that's what we do on the podcast. Is we let like, me let me look, let me look over at what, what my happens. notes say. <laughs> I'm tired. How do you not got, know what you did? This I know week? what I did. I got 15 bullet points. I'm ready uh, to go. Let's see. Uh, you know, seriously, I ask you this every week. I, I know. I, I can't believe this. Dude, I know. I'm having a hard time thinking right now. You go ahead. What'd you do this week? <laughs> My goodness. What did I do? I did something Podcast Wednesday. 111. I know. Okay. The triple ones. Uh, yeah, I did um, some stuff. So Nashville, it That's was That's a way better answer than mine. Trey and I went to uh, NASCAR for a brand deal with NBC Sports. Oh, NASCAR yeah. is back in Nashville. Oh, yeah. Um, so easy puns. NASCAR. That's oh, a fun one. Yeah. And um, normally I don't go along with these things because there's like an entire production crew there to like film Trey. Right. And I think he just kind of invited me just to have someone in his corner and, you know, just to have someone there he could talk to and hang out with. I remember uh, what I did now. Okay. Do you? Yeah, I <laughs> looked it up on my calendar. It's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> now that's type A. <laughs> I know, dude. Like, what did I do this week? Uh, but at some point, at one point early on the trip, someone asked me like, now are you like Trey's handler or like his manager? What does a handler even mean? A great question. Yeah. I was like, do you, what are you insinuating? What do you, he's married. Yeah. The only thing I can think of handler is like you hold their bags or something. You handle their bags. I guess the handle there's bags. A, there's no way that's what he probably meant though. I don't know. He's a bag holder. Or, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a fun part of the trip. So because like this is all on like NBC's dime, like we're staying in a nice hotel, no Ubers. 
black Escalades, like tinted out Escalades everywhere we go. That's and really And like cool. guys in suits are like picking us up. That's really And they're cool. touching our lug. They're handling me. Oh, yeah. They're handling they're, me. They're your handlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suit, suit handlers. Mm-hmm. Wow. So that was pretty cool. That's uh, really cool. They were not, um, well, yeah, it, it was fun. They're big on like, I feel like we would like race to the door sometimes. Like, I can get the door. No, sir. No, sir. Let me oh, get the door. Really? And I'm yeah. like, no, it's really okay. And then like, we're kind of like awkwardly racing. I mean, no, it's seriously fine. But then yeah. like, he's kind of like jogging to get there. They're like used to working with these <clears throat> high profile people who like, will get really frustrated if they don't open the door for them or something. <laughs> oh, that was another thing. Some of the production crew people were like, uh, they made this this comment a couple times like we can just tell you guys are not from LA like you guys are just so great so yeah. easy to get along with and one of the specific things that brought that on was me just spraying sunscreen like the spray sunscreen just spraying it in my face like in Nashville like people don't do that who we work with they would never just spray right. like aerosol? off brand yeah. sunscreen onto their face and I was like oh yeah that's, I, that's I'm me. super yeah. relatable sorry I'm not like most boys right there I was spray a Walgreens sunscreen. around the corner from the hotel so yeah I just figured <laughs> I'd go with that one yeah the, the the regular brand's the same as the off brand so so that that really like went like I don't know that that meant something to them that yeah. would spray sunscreen on my face like wow you guys are just so down to earth these guys they get it I'm gonna tell my wife about you guys <laughs> you sunscreen sprayers that's awesome uh so that was fun okay well I'll tell you what I did okay yeah. So I, I, I did have something like every night, except for last night, I think I can't remember. Uh, but Monday and Tuesday, Catherine had stuff going on. So I just watched the kids Wednesday, went to a family picnic with the church. Uh, it it was a children's ministry, like picnic at the park. So we went to that, saw our good friend, Sam Seavers there, children's minister. And, uh, you know, I, but I was like, but I, I wanted to go back to open mic night on Wednesday Mm. night. I was like, I'm going back. I really wanted you to go. Were you leaving the next day? Or were yeah, you, I was leaving the next morning gone? at 7 a.m. Okay, because I was like, I tried, I, I, I just want somebody there to, for like moral support. Like, I don't, I don't want like a crowd of fans, but I wanted somebody to come. So I was like, Jake, do you mind coming? You're like, dude, I'm so sorry, I'm busy. And so then I texted Scott. Scott's my biggest fan. I think Scott's our biggest fan in the world. Yeah. Like, like, and it was his birth. It was his birthday on Thursday. And so if you're not a fan, or if you're a fan of us, you're a fan of Scott Peck because he is, <laughs> he's our fan. And there's no, there's no Brad Ellis without Scott Peck. So, uh, wish him a comment below. Wish him a happy birthday in a comment below. No, wish, um, him, wish him a comment. Wish him a comment. Hey, Scott, just want to wish you a comment real quick. <laughs> and like, yeah, you you gift him a comment. And hey, then, Scott, I have that. You may comment underneath me. Yeah, you get three wishes. Okay, <laughs> one, um, you know, supernatural flight. Uh, two, read people's mind. Three, can I just get a comment? <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so anyway, Scott was like, yeah, dude. Reading people's minds, that reminds me of what women want. Oh, what exactly. Of, one of my favorite movies. I'm having deja vu right now, dude. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I get it. That's what it's like. Man, deja vu is awesome. Oh, of course. it proves you right. <laughs> now I'm, now I understand. <laughs> uh, um, so anyway, <laughs> I can't believe it took us like 95 episodes to realize that you don't believe in deja vu. That no was one way, of my favorite dude. things about this podcast. No way. It's a hoax. <laughs> it's a hoax. Everyone oh, knows Pearl it. Harbor. Yeah, I remember seeing Everyone's Pearl in on it. Everyone's in on it except for me. I get it. Um, okay. Sorry. Went to the picnic. While I was at the picnic, though, I was like, I got to go. Like, Catherine, I can't be late to this thing. Last week, we were five minutes late. I, I want to make sure I don't have to go at the very end. I don't want to headline again. Like I said, I said, I will not do it if I have to do that again. Uh, so... You know, if you know Catherine and me, you know that we like to, you know, play it pretty close to the like vet, like to the gun as far as getting there on time. And What's up? You, we like, we don't always get there either. Let on me put time. it this way: if the tooth, toothbrush comes around the corner, we're gonna be playing it close to the so. Dress. Yeah, if the monkey bars fit, then you know, get up on the playground. Am I right, guys? I'll be there. Uh, so- <laughs> That's kind of how we do it. Catherine, you check the clock. I'll check the oven. You know, we're never there like super early is what I'm trying to say. Okay. (laughs) We play it pretty close to the times table. So I'm like, Catherine, I got to go. And like literally two minutes before I was trying to leave, Sam goes, so Catherine, how'd you come to Christ? And I was like, Catherine, you have two minutes to tell us. (laughs) She's like, okay, born in a Christian home. Uh, You know, like before. (laughs) Anyway, um, so I get to the comedy club. At 725, thinking 730 is my cutoff time. I'm good. 725. I still got a few minutes to share my testimony. Honestly, it might even have been 727 by the time I walked in. I'm going to be honest. And so. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to be honest. You're Jay. playing it close to the gun. I'm, I'm playing it pretty close to the, my vests. <laughs> um, and so <laughs> that's how I do it. That's how I stroll. I always put it a little under my top hat. You that's, know, that's I, just, what I, I roll say. it at the last second. They call me Lincoln. And so. Um, <laughs> 
And so I get there and they're the list, like the person that's like, that was there the first time, like that had the list was nowhere to be found. The girl who thinks I'm a sexist. I haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> oh, you didn't? I was going to talk about it on the uh, Just Jake episode, oh, okay. but then I filmed it at 3 a.m. and it slipped my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was the same girl. I, I think that might've been a guy that said sexist about you. Oh, okay. So, well, so hey, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. okay. Uh, so uh, she wasn't there, couldn't find her. And I was like asking different people and they're like, oh yeah, I think they already took the list away. I'm bummed. At this oh, point. don't take it away. Don't take it away. No, no. And so then Scott gets there with his wife, Sam, Sam's there. And they're like, Scott's so jazzed. He's like, dude, I'm so excited to see you. I am like, actually, I don't know where the list is. I'm trying to find this guy. Apparently that girl was gone. Carlos was in charge this time. Oh, same one. Um, yeah. Do you remember Carlos? No, it's the basketball game. Oh no, not the same one. Carlos, he's, like, he's big in the local comedy scene. Carlos was there the uh, week before as well, and he made a joke about how girls don't like uh, seasoning on things. Do you remember that? That's all I'm going to say about it. Oh, do you remember him? That's too bad. Yep, that's the that's the guy that's in charge. <laughs> so I finally find Carlos at like 7:40, and he's like, "Oh, sorry, we cap it at 25, and we hit our cap like at 7:20." And I'm like, he goes, "But you can go on at the very end if you want." And I go, no, thank you. No. And so Scott had driven all that way. Scott's like, hey, man, like, let's just watch some of these guys. I think I'm really fu- excited to see how bad these people are. I'm excited to hear you retell it. And I go, bro, you have no idea how <laughs> not excited you should be. Like, this is not even good at all. And so Carlos is the first guy to get up there because like the host always does a little stand up himself. He gets off, literally tells the same jokes as last week, which is weird to me. Like, huh. why not try new things? Yeah. Um told the seasoning joke again. And then he's like, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite comedians. And he introduces this guy. I have a video of it that I'll post on Patreon. I think Jake or Scott sent it to you, but this guy's, I couldn't even watch it. 70 years old. And I don't even know if he was trying to tell jokes or if he was just <laughs> saying things into a microphone. It was so bad, dude. It was like, like, and then at the, but people were dying laughing at it. That was the frustrating thing. Oh no. Is near the end. He just goes, I have some, the, the next part is, songs that have been stuck in my head for a while and then that's the video that scott took where he's just like singing this weird <laughs> song it's it's that song like it was like a it was like a parody to uh the star wars like darth vader like dun, 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 dun. it was that and it was also like the bop bop she ba ba dee bop beep bop you know that song like yeah i heart- can't remember how it goes yeah, exactly yeah. but he just sang those songs for like the last two minutes and he's like thank you you guys have been great <laughs> and then and so that was a that was the second one so first scott saw the seasoning guy and then he saw this guy and scott went from like dude this is pretty funny how inappropriate and terrible these guys are to like what's happening here and then the next guy that came up like say he's like i haven't done this in years and like I bet the first 30 seconds was like me trying to figure out what my week was like. <laughs> like he had nothing. He wasn't saying anything. He just like, like looking down and he's like, sorry guys. Sorry guys. I just really haven't done this in a while. I guess I'm a little bit nervous. And people are like clapping out of like sympathy for this guy. And it's like when a kid gets stuck on the blob and doesn't want to jump off. You're like, Hey, come, come on, on. You'll be fine. Just don't, look how many other yeah. people have done it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that fat kid in the back that really wants to go, but he's not able to because you signed up for the blob. That's <laughs> think about him. Think about big Brad back there. <laughs> and the heck that he's not going to chase his dreams because of you. And so, uh, <laughs> like he would sky somebody. People would love think him. Think about Brad. He would, he, would, he would jock jam them in the yeah. air. <laughs> oh, I was going to take jock jams out by the way, but I, I'm, you were going to take it out just because of time. Recently. No, Oh, you For, got a jock jam every time. Yeah. Okay. I'll be the jock jam guy. Yeah. Um, I really do like that. Really? idea. Yeah. Yeah. If I ever like have more time than like the strict five minutes, I'm always doing jock jam. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, so that guy, like oh, literally God. like what we good. That just reminds me that an idea that we kind of had together. We should talk about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Okay. Um, so this guy like literally doesn't make, I don't think he makes a joke. And then he finally, he like pulled out his phone to like look at jokes and he like made Classic. one, one quick joke. Didn't land at all. He's like, well, I'll say it. It's not that inappropriate. He goes, well, I guess this popped my cherry. So I, I guess I'm good for a while. Thanks. You guys have been really nice. <laughs> and walked off the stage. Mayday, mayday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and the thing I love about Scott more than just about anything is how, A, he's like our biggest fan, truly, and how invested he is in our lives and like like how he feels for us. Like he's he he like upset for you. Infuriated. He's like, I can't believe that guy got to go on stage and they're missing out on listening to you, man. Like, <laughs> you know, and obviously I'm upset too. Cause I want to practice and get better and, you know, perfect this thing, or at least learn how to be funny 
to these people. And, but I'm not that upset. Like there's other open mic nights. It's every week, dude, it's fine. But you know, Scott was like, and so like, I think we watched one more and then we left. So hmm. uh, that is a good quality to have. What? And, yeah. And Scott, just like oh, he yeah. takes on like the, the feelings yeah, of other he people. He empathizes really well with people. And I just, I love that. So, um, Anyway, so that's what I did Wednesday. Okay. Thursday night, uh, had a uh, dinner with Star Peterson. She came over. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, co-host of the Ladies in Waiting podcast. Check okay. it out. Uh, she's pretty fun. She's a pretty fun girl. Star um, came to our basketball game. Yeah. Didn't say a word afterwards. Didn't. Hey, Star. She mentioned that. She's like, yeah, you were too busy talking to other fans. So I just figured I'd talk to you another time. Cool, 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 uh, cool, 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 um <laughs> pretty nights. lackluster evening no honestly. no it was really <laughs> fun it was we had we had a great time you know hattie talked a lot and we laughed at how cute she is and whatever but you guys just had star over yeah oh she's friends with Catherine. like they we work together at camp and stuff so, okay hey hey, uh, hey no no, hey, no judgment hey, here hey, man it's fine man we had some breakfast for dinner you know okay pancake bags bags and neck and <laughs> oh, wow 11 43 <laughs> <laughs> it was great, a, a couple nand kits, a couple uh, bad You tits. know how it goes. <laughs> Turtle sausage. Okay, I will say this: Star couldn't believe that I had made shirts that say Brad and Jake on them. She's like, she's like, that was ridiculous, but also amazing. I think I'm gonna have to buy one. Okay, Star. So, so how ridiculous is it? Uh, I'll this is now. Huh? Who's <laughs> laughing all the way to the bank now, Star? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> So that that's that's about all the updates I can remember uh, from my week as far as yeah things big things happening. I have we have we have a few more things that we'll talk about. We later. got some things. Yeah. So. Uh, real quick before I forget, I checked my Venmo recently. And Augustine, who I said I mentioned last week, Amish Jam shirt, real soft shirt. Munoz. Uh, uh, I don't yeah. know. Mary okay. to Karen, Spokane mm-hmm. guy. Met him at the show. He paid for my breakfast via Venmo. I didn't even notice it. it's like five days afterwards. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. So thank you, Augustine. Yeah. Or should I say? Oh, he's from. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> That's what they were expecting. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I Shoot. think. Uh, okay. So you just said you were talking about comedy and I was like, oh, that reminds me. We talked about how like unhelpful these open mic nights would be. Yes. Good. I meant to talk about that last week. It's guy. It's Batten. Yes. Uh, have like a, a Kansas City night of comedy yeah. or something like hosted by the Ghost Hunters or something yeah. like that. We haven't ironed out the details, kind of like Ghost Hunters Olympiad, but we're just throwing it out there. It'd be yeah. fun to do just like an event with our friends. Maybe this isn't even that big of a podcast thing because people live out of town, but it's like right. getting our personal network. Yeah. Plus some ghost runner fans to like, I don't know if we just try to get 50 people. Yeah. Somewhere outside, just they have en- like a fun night. And they enjoy clean humor. Like it was just so hard to like take any kind of value in our practice that we did last week. Cause it was like, these people aren't going to be the target audience someday for us, you know, yeah. like, and so who cares? But like, if we get people that like us and that, or no, they don't even have to like us. Don't just, just enjoy clean humor. Just bring somebody. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, and that, that was one of the things I said, it was like a requirement that you can come, but you have to bring someone that doesn't know us. Therefore we can get a little bit of an unbiased. Take yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, because we want a warm crowd, but we don't want it to be like, these guys are hilarious. Anything they say is funny, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So, Oh, I think that'd be so fun though. And it didn't have to be a night of comedy. We can have like music or something. I don't know. Just like there's a stage. It could be yeah. indoors, outdoors. I don't know. Just like, let's just gather people. And then yeah. at some point tell jokes for them. As we were leaving uh, this uh, picnic with our, like the church, like children's ministry picnic, Sam was like, do you want to just have me announce like uh, you're doing stand up and do it right in front of these people? And I was like, no. And, and like, Sam's the kind of guy that would do that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I'd be like, you got to shut this down now. Like, like do not yes. get any I was ideas. Like, I was like, Sam, I, I, I said, I, I think the words I said to him, I will punch you in the face if you do that. <laughs> I promise. Uh, because I, we're still new to the church. We don't know anybody really. Like they don't know. We don't have like an identity one way or the other. And we're kind of okay with that. They're just not seeing their mask off. Hey, one thing at a right. time. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like, Hey man, don't, don't say that. And he's got a very loud voice. He loves to like yell. Like anytime he sees Hattie, he's like, Hey, <laughs> that was a good impression sam if you're out there you know that was perfect uh howdy um uh, and so i was like do not you know but then again i thought think back on it, i was like maybe that was the warmest crowd i would have had maybe that would have been way more in my alley but anyway um, hey it's all good let's do let's do that idea though yeah i, I want to keep doing it i think yeah it's just so fun and once you once you taste it a little bit and like i had so much fun in spokane like i want to work even harder at this yeah i couldn't sleep on my second flight last night so i was like writing some stuff down that's awesome yeah it feels good uh back to nashville so one of the things i was doing one of the other things i was handling was kind of uh trying to help trey come up with jokes okay which was it was kind of a fun exercise because we're not it's not the easiest thing we're not writing jokes you know 
like we normally were. We're not talking about plant moms or dog moms. Right, you right. know, now we're doing. Yeah. All right. So, Trey, we're going to take you to the Johnny Cash Museum. So if you just want to like look around, like maybe say some funny things in there. <laughs> and so it's like, all right, we got about five minutes. Like, what can you come up with? And so. And your target audience is different. I don't right? even know who's going to watch this video. What? You know, I'm like, trying to figure out like, how fan? is this being distributed? Like, who's watching this? Oh, it's going on NBC's YouTube channel and Trey's TikTok. This is OK. This is weird. Whatever. Um, so. Most of them, it was just like, I don't think they're going to go for this, you know, okay. or just like, I don't think they're going to appreciate that okay. joke. But, yeah. um, but it was a fun exercise doing that. There was a, uh, a hand sanitizer station right next to like all these artifacts by his home. And so okay. I was like, you should do a joke where it's like, I mean, Johnny Cash was very ahead of his time musically. <laughs> I mean, look, he had a hand sanitizer station in his lakeside look home. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, 50 years ahead of. Which is crazy because wasn't it his brother that like cut off his hand? Uh, well, his brother died, so I don't, we didn't make any jokes about that. But wasn't it from like a saw? Yeah. Getting his hand cut off or something? Yeah. Is that too much? I think that's kind of funny, guys. I, I think they would not I don't have think gone NBC would have, I don't think it's corporate funny, but. <laughs> it's hard to write jokes that like yeah. people like approve right then. Like, cause Johnny Cash has the famous, like, like, I think it's like an entire album. Definitely the song, like the Folsom uh, County Blues. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he like, has a whole album like live at Folsom Prison. Okay. I thought so. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like, I, so many prison jokes I want to make. I don't think that's going to fly. Um, <laughs> Johnny Cash really was, focused on the prison aspect of <laughs> Or just yeah. like all these jokes we want to make about NASCAR once it got to the track. Just like all these jokes about like, it's funny we turn left and they all vote right. You know, like they're not going to go for that. Um, <laughs> that's that's pretty good though. I know we had so many good ones. And, and this was funny. Well, there's probably a lot of stuff I'll save because I'm sure Trey and I will talk about it yeah. on uh, his pod. But uh, what else was going to say? Correct opinions. <laughs> what, yeah, what is the name of that podcast oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay so uh I'm trying to think what else we i think i want to talk about the airplane ride last night my first airplane ride why okay. am i why am i calling it that <laughs> my airplane ride <laughs> my like first it, one <laughs> i had a backpack <laughs> and they gave me a soda pop <laughs> dr and, pepper and my dad tried to tell me like, he didn't go on the airplane we were at the county fair he thinks it's an airplane <laughs> it's not actually no i went on it had wings on the side. It went and up everything. and down, Dad. It, it did. Went up and down. I saw it. I put a seatbelt on. <laughs> you didn't go on an airplane ride, all right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was talking like that. So on my first airplane ride, apparently, okay, kind of like that. I'm down, boys. Like he's flying on a plane. And he's flying on a plane, and he'll be driving in a car later. Yeah. Uh, all around rough day of flying. I'm not even going to get into all the. Um, it was kind of a well. No, no. I said I'm not going to get into. It. I'm not going to get into. It. <laughs> okay, okay. Delays and yada yada yada. Oh but, yeah finally get onto this plane it's been kind of a, a mess getting onto it and all right i want you to everyone's gonna really need to imagine this because i don't think just saying it is going to fully translate the the feeling of the situation so really just even if okay. you're driving right now i'm gonna ask you guys to close your, close eyes. your eyes with every head bowed and every eye closed i'm gonna tell you this story all <laughs> okay. right okay um and if it moves you i'd like you to raise your hand and at various times i'll be calling out the hands okay, okay. whatever okay, 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 okay. Um, so boarding an airplane is already a little bit like there's people behind me. I don't want to take too much time, you know, especially like I'm putting overhead stuff. Like if it starts to get jammed, then that's like a I'm starting to get sweaty because yeah, I'm like yeah, doing yeah. like work and right. people around me. So yeah, I'm always like it's super really warm when you first walk. Usually in. the air's not flowing very well yet. Yeah. People left their windows up. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's very hot. And uh, so 5 PM. So yeah, sun's beaming in there. Okay. I go to my seat 32 F. So it's to be a window seat. There is a, it's a aisle and you're like 32 F 32 oh. F this, duh. <laughs> there is a, I look to my left, there is a uh, woman sitting in the middle seat and then like a two-year-old son sitting in the window seat. Mm -hmm. Right away, we have an internal dilemma. Mm -hmm. Do I say something? Absolutely. It's just a little kid, but like, Papa needs a nap, all right? <laughs> and the window seat is nice. So, you know, I don't people waking me up. Do you lean on the window usually? No, I go straight back, but it's just the comfort okay. and the, like, I'm against the wall. There's is something nice. kind of cozy there. Yeah, I don't have the cart coming by me or people walking by me. Kind of getting hugged by the wall a little bit. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, it feels nice right now. Okay. So <laughs> right away, I'm like, I'm going to say something, I sure. think. I'm just trying to be more direct. I think I mentioned that five, six episodes ago. I'm so saying, don't I, say I think. But oh, oh, I said I think a lot. Absolutely, I would. Uh, I would too. Yeah. I think I'm, so I was direct enough South. to say something, yeah. but not direct enough to not say I think. So I'm like, I think I'm 32F. And right away, I'm like, oh boy, she doesn't speak English. This is going to be tough to communicate okay. a little bit. So Augustine should have been there. <laughs> Where is he at? <laughs> and so I'm like trying to point like me 
<laughs> me window seat you know <laughs> <laughs> window <laughs> I'm like, you just I'm, like start picking the kid up and putting him in the aisle <laughs> just grabbing his foot just yeah him. so she gets the sign language that i'm doing grabs the kid by his sternum kind of like packers same part of his body as if she was okay. chanting packers at okay. him. the second she touches this kid he explodes like a firework on the fourth of july i mean just yeah ah, oh ah, yeah i know ah. Yeah. Right away, I'm like, oh, bad move. Abort. I'm so sorry. Was he flailing? Hattie loves to flail. Just side to side. When, when she's when she's full on, she like just flails. You can't. It's she's slippery. It's <laughs> she is. It's like it's like I can't hold you anymore. She falls she sometimes. Stole his elbows. Yeah. yeah, the armpits get slippery. Uh-huh. So his kids scream like, oh gosh, what have I done? Not worth it. She's trying to just put him in the aisle seat. So I'm like, okay, clearly. Uh, they, don't, they don't care about assigned seats. She, yeah. She's like, oh, okay, I'll just put him here. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And so then he's starting to scream. I'm like, hey, don't worry about it. I'm doing this motion. Hey, don't worry about it. I can just sit in the aisle. And she's like, no, no, no. And then <laughs> meanwhile, this other woman uh, looks like like same skin tone as this woman. So like they might be here together or whatever. She's oh, yelling okay. at me. She's like, hey, hey, she's trying to get my attention. I'm like, oh, what's up? She's like, that's her daughter. And then points to like a five-year-old girl in the row behind her. So I'm like, maybe she's trying to say that the daughter speaks English. So I'm like, yeah, you speak English. Daughter just staring him in the eyes. So I'm like, <laughs> I, and she got a mask on. Maybe she's, she's doing talking. the slow know. thing like on the road trip, like just looking at So uh, my head's on a swivel. I'm going yeah. back and forth like this other woman. Okay, now the daughter. And you got five, yeah. 50 people behind you. People are behind so me. So many people behind you just like, <laughs> what's going on? There's a seat right there, dude. <laughs> yeah, so then the main woman on the left now is saying like 36, 36. I'm like, what? And then, I kid you no, not. No, you were in this. Hold on. Just wait. Then this elderly woman sitting like a row behind them, but yeah. in the aisle seat goes to me, sir, can you help me get my armrest up <laughs> in the middle of all this? So I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fold it up. You're good. Like, <laughs> so then I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So I'm like, why in the world do you need this up right now? Hey, it's okay. I mean, she's got like a breathing tube. Like this woman's 200 years old. Okay. Like, I don't even know why she's on this plane. Sure. And so, um, so I'm trying to get her armrest up, but to her credit, it was broken. So now I can't get the armrest up and oh, I am no. sweating. I am sweating. I can't get the yeah, armrest up. You're yanking up. the yard uh, rest. Ma- ma'am, I'm sorry. I can't get it either. This is really <laughs> tricky. The kid, I'm not kidding. The kid is screaming this whole time. Like it is so loud. It is so chaotic. I can't get the armrest up. Now the main woman is like getting my attention again, like touching my arm. She's like, uh, you 36, you 36. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm 32. 29 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not good at reflecting yeah. any gram. <laughs> and so then I finally get uh, the idea. I was like, she's saying, I, I think she's saying that she, her son was originally supposed to be in 36, that row. Okay. But she, but she wanted to sit next to him. Like, oh, okay. No, I'm happy to sit in 36. Like, what seat are you? That is a tricky sentence. We don't, we never get to the bottom of mm-hmm. what seat she's in. Kid is screaming. This grandma, now we're back to the grandma. She, she gets the armrest up. A flight attendant comes up to help her get the armrest up. Grandma now says, can you help me up? So now I'm back on the grandma. I'm helping Are her up. Are you kidding up. me? I, this is a true story. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> and so now I'm helping up the grandma. She's in the aisle now. We're like hugging. I mean, we are just like- You're face to, to face. Front to front. Yeah, yeah. 11th grade year homecoming. You come here often? Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you come. Uh, yeah, you got another breathing tube? Uh-huh, yeah. You share some O2? Hello. O, o for two? O for tube? <laughs> <laughs> so grandma's up i'm like is there anything i can help like i don't know why she stood up yeah and she's like oh it sounds like you were going into 36 and i'm like no you're in 33 oh, you're in the boy. row back she's like oh i'm sorry can you help me with my bags and so then she's like can you help me with my bags are you <laughs> serious she she needed to move back to 36 she was in the wrong aisle so can you grab my bags and take them back to 36 this is why you fly southwest right here <laughs> yeah, this was united yeah and so i get her bags i hand them to her meanwhile i was trying to direct back to this woman i'm like do you know which seat he was supposed to be on in 36 <laughs> i love and- how you're like trying to still speak english like <laughs> like maybe maybe supposed to be on will be in her vocabulary <laughs> original ticket boarding yeah. pass what did it say yeah. def yeah original purchase <laughs> your position on the airplane like i just can't i need you to like really imagine how loud this kid is screaming and how fast my head is swiveling back Dude. and forth between like four different people trying to talk to me a kid screaming anywhere especially in a confined space is the worst it just heightens especially the, when you caused it right? yeah like, i kind of did yeah i didn't tickle like, him but in a way uh, you yeah I, you tickled I, I, his um angry bone <laughs> like so then okay we're almost done basically okay. i 
I don't ever figure out what row it's in, or what seat. I'm like, forget. I'll sit anywhere. I just want this to be over. Okay. I don't know why I cared so much from the get go what seat it was in. So, but if you sit, go ahead. Yep. So in that time where I'm waiting for her to try and tell me, <laughs> oh my grandma's gosh. now sat back at 36 aisle seat. So now when I finally get back there, I got to move her armrest again. I got to help her up. I got to like keep her standing up. Is grandma big? Grandma's big. Grandma seems big. Grandma's big. Yeah. Like, she have like she have like a light pink like shirt on that <laughs> has a little too much cleavage for the fact that she's like two hundred years old. Like grandma, I could see too much when you went face to face with me. Is that that's what I'm imagining? Is like this like substitute teacher? Like she substitute teacher for a long time after she retired, and now she's like visiting her like son in Nashville or something, trying to get back to Milwaukee. I did. So <laughs> that's a pretty good picture. Yeah. But imagine like and she had glasses. Did she have glasses? She had to have. Uh, cataracts. I don't know if she had glasses. Okay, okay. Cataracts. <laughs> I don't know which. Oh, she did tell me all of her. Okay, hold on. We got to get to grandma later. Okay, okay. So grandma's in the aisle seat. I got to get her back up. I got to hold her up while I'm trying to put my bags up. And then I got to keep her holding up. And then I got to sit her back down But while I'm in the middle seat. Yeah. And put her back down because she sat down. And it was just like. Oh, my. Yeah. It was really rough. I, I choose to sit in the middle seat for now. I'm like, if no one's in the aisle or in the window, I'll eventually take the window and. Meanwhile, this woman just proceeds to force gut me for the next 30 minutes, you know, just just talking. You mean like just. Yeah, but she never used that as a verb before, but it sounded good. OK, it just she's forced. She gut me. It's just she like, gumped, yeah. yeah, yeah. And she um, had some gumption to her. She was trying to she couldn't remember all the ailments she had. So she had to look at a bracelet. She has a bracelet that says everything that's wrong with you, which is a pretty funny premise. Just in case something like happens to her, like people are yeah, looking at it. Yeah, be, obviously yeah that it's is a, a funny premise of like. <laughs> Okay. It says passive aggressive online. Okay. Lies when she's nervous. Like, <laughs> yeah. Not a good tipper. Um, <laughs> Is she even worth saving? Yeah. It right. says cheats on her. Cheats right. on her husband. All yeah. right. Uh, fills up the regular trash can when the recycling is full. <laughs> Just like weird little things. Yeah, like, you do. Does it p- put her shopping cart back? Right. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a, that's kind of a that's weird, kind of weird. Yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, one of the, I was thinking about this in the airport yesterday, like the shopping cart thing is kind of annoying. And have you ever heard of that? Like in like economics or in like life, it's like a microcosm of like society. Like if as a culture, as a society, if we can't put our own shopping carts back, like the world will not function. It's kind of like an interesting, like, oh. like sociological principle. Like if we don't take care of ourselves, like then we'll never have carts. Like oh. it'll be chaos. Like if we don't put them back, if someone's not in charge of putting them back or if we don't okay. put them back, like there'll be carts strewn everywhere. Huh. And that's why Aldi's so great because they, you put away your own carts. <laughs> Aldi gets it. Aldi, they're the Aldi Germans, the Germans it. get it. Yeah, really is right. what it is. That's that, we, I've always said that since day one, since 1940, since 1941 or <laughs> so. Yeah. 39. Well, you know, put me down for 39. Since Archduke France. No, that was World War One. Anyway, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Um, what we talking about? Oh yeah, I, I, just a funny premise. It's just like you go to like the hospital, like we're gonna yeah. put all everything wrong with you, and then it comes back, and yeah, it just says passive aggressive. What's wrong with my freckles? They're genetic. <laughs> like you're just like frustrated, like everything. Yeah. Oh my. Eighteen percent body fat doesn't seem that, that that's bad. That's pretty good for two hundred years old. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't spell definitely correctly. It's hard. <laughs> Where is the H in rhythm? All right. <laughs> I, I would be surprised if you didn't have to look it up to engrave this. Okay. If if he said the P like like I saw him, you would spell facetious that way too. I promise. <laughs> I honestly didn't think about that being funny until just now we were yeah. uh, recording. But yeah, that is, I might write that down. That is just, a, that's a stand-up joke. Yeah. Your ailments are just your, your downfalls. Your shortcomings <laughs> are on your bracelet. Um, okay okay so we're almost done. so you're Basically, in the middle seat so I, yeah it's pretty much over with, i'm in the middle seat the and no one ever comes so i'm like hey i'm gonna move to the uh window just to give us more room because grandma's hips like Don't they, lie. they go under the armrest and they mm-hmm. touch they touch me oh yeah you know oh it's just fine hey uh, that, that was that was age 16 for me i think when that started <laughs> happening when i when i had the overflow <laughs> overflow thighs yeah overflow. uh-huh yeah they go under the drawbridge uh-huh. every time they're thunder thunder thighs baby <laughs> Oh, man. We got to get your umbrella away from the storm. So I go to the window seat and grandma is still a little self-aware. Um, imagine like the old woman on Titanic. That's kind of like how old it is. Where okay. It's like, whoo. Yeah. Still kicking, huh? Uh-huh. Um, but she was like, hey, just let me know if I talk your ear off the whole flight. And I'm like, well, hey, good luck. I'll be asleep, you know, before <laughs> you can, you know, get to it or something like that. I kind of yeah. like try to hint at like, it's a joke, but like, I'm going to be asleep. And you had your mask on too, right? I had my mask on. If you have a breathing so tube, hard. you don't have to have it. Loophole. Life hack. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's good. But grandma, she was so sweet. She asked two different times, 
hey, just to be, she would like tap a flight attendant on the arm, just to be certain, I don't have to wear my mask, right? Because I totally will if you want me to. And they're like, no, you're fine. That's, like, a, that's you're a good strategy too, just in general. Like, just to be certain, I don't have to wear this, you know? And they're like, no, you absolutely have to. Well, I'm, if you really want me to, let me know. If, if not, I'm just going to keep it off. Oh, you you have to wear it. Okay. Yeah. Just let me know. Okay. Just let well, me just, know. Hey, just, I'll be right okay. here. Uh-huh. I, I can't move. So <laughs> I will be right here. Oh my gosh. Um, and then one last move grandma tried is uh, my eyes are closed. AirPods are in. And then she still, she got to me. She's where'd, like, where'd she poke? We talk, <laughs> no, I'm serious, like, not, not in like a weird way, but like, she like goes, elbow. She goes side. Okay. You like elbow. elbow. So elbow. That's, your, that's your fault. Having the armrest there, maybe. Yeah. I, my elbow was kind of out there for mm-hmm. the taking, for mm-hmm. the poking. Yeah. It was the closest and thing. And she, she came in and she said, uh, <laughs> how long are your arms? <laughs> Oh, I think last week I measured 42 and a quarter inch. What is it? I know my neck is 15 and five eighths, but I can't remember my arm length. Um, What a a great non sequitur. How long are your arms? Sweetie, I've been been staring at those things for a while now. How long are those arms? (laughs) You remind me of my grandson's arms. I got I that. I swear you have identical arms. I swear you have my grandson's arms. Yeah. And when I touched that elbow, I was like, I've felt that before. I, I know that elbow. She has a 29 year old grandson, which she let me know. Okay. And she's like, you remind me a lot of him. <laughs> and then just went on to tell me, I mean, we are just the most opposite people I have ever heard. He is an attorney in uh-huh. New York City. Yep. I was like, oh, that is me. That is, that, that, check that is and me. Check. He has already got a few kids of his own. Mm-hmm. I was like, that, that's me too. Check. And yeah, so. Uh, but oh, the heck of a set of elbows on him. <laughs> anyway, she asked me how long my arms are because she wanted me to uh, get her purse for her. I was like, long enough, mama. I'll oh, get yeah. him. Oh, yeah. Gave her the purse. And then it wasn't right away, but like five seconds afterwards, I, I kind of forgot about all of this. She goes, would you like a cookie? Which made me feel like it was kind of merit based. I don't think I was going to get that <laughs> cookie had I not. Well, had she wouldn't have been able arms. to reach it. Uh, was the cookie in the purse? Ah, uh, That makes sense, too. Maybe yeah. it's like I, I earned this for myself. Yeah. It was a test. Like she wasn't going to tell you up front, hey, I got cookies in my purse. <laughs> How long are your arms? <laughs> <laughs> but if you do this out of the kindness of your heart, absolutely, then you have earned that cookie. Have your cookie. Um, anyway, I think that is about it. <laughs> but, so did you end up seeing what happened to Cryboy and his mom? Like, did they have a third person that eventually sat in their row? Did you? Oh, I don't even think I, I cared to, to notice. Okay. We, we were four rows back. and Gosh, I hate that that kid cried so much. That stinks. I mean, he was screaming. It was more than just like a baby crying. You know, it's like a two-year-old throwing mm-hmm. a tantrum, just like screaming. Right. It's different. Yeah. It's, tantrums are so much different than just a baby crying. It was one of those. Baby crying, you can usually figure out. Like, you can stand it's up. It's kind of like a consistent. Hit them hard enough. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Smack them around in the Come laboratory. On, you're fine. Yeah. Whew. It was tough. Man. Um, but, but but you made it here today. Yeah, it was fun. It was fine. So did you end up falling asleep eventually on that flight? Yeah, yeah, I slept well. Because you said on the second flight you didn't fall asleep. Yeah, second flight, they uh, they just kept turning the lights on. It was like a late flight. It was like a yeah. 9 o'clock to like 10.30 flight. Right. And they just like, they had those lights beaming. And I didn't understand it. And uh, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what do you think about... Uh, my, my friend is in this, he's at a wedding for his, I think it's like it's brother-in-law and sister or something like that on his wife's side. Uh, but they got married like a year ago with 50 people had, had a, had a wedding ceremony reception with 50 people in a party. He's at another wedding for these same people. I think that's ridiculous. 50 people is too many. I think there needs to be a, there needs to be yeah. a number. What is it? Yeah. I was just trying to think of what my number would be. Trey's made sense. The venue, when he got married, they would only let 10 people in the venue at all times. So yes. he's like, okay, bridegroom, officiant, mm-hmm. parents. Now we each get like a person and a half there. Yeah. yeah. Immediate family <clears throat> only. Of course. 50. But 50 is like, that kind of worked out well for you. Now yeah. you don't have to spend as much money and like all your like most fun friends get to be there. You don't have to invite your great uncle anymore. Right. Like you're good. You're good on all that stuff. 50 is way too many. I think so. I think 23. Really? Let's go Jordan. Really? Okay. The Jordan rules. The Jordan rule. Yeah. That, that's what they called. That's what that was. Uh, okay. That's fair. I was thinking, yeah, max 20 for me was the number. Okay. So we're pretty close. And it has to be like a, a, a solid 23 then. Like I'm not talking, I'm not even talking best friends. I'm talking family only in that 23. Cause if your friends can come, if you had enough wiggle room for your friends, then you're good. I think so. I, I, yeah, I think it's gotta be a low number. I think 50, especially if, and if they had catering, if someone catered for this ooh, wedding, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that is a wedding and that is your wedding. That's it. <laughs> if not like you, you should have had a smaller one and had a bigger one later. I know Trey and Katie, they called this restaurant that they like in Kansas city for their like COVID wedding last May. And they're like, do you guys do catering? And they're like, 
We've never done it in our life, but business is, you know, yeah. pretty slow. So yeah, we'll cater for you. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the way to do it. Do you remember where it was? It was, I want to say Texas Roadhouse. No, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Chili's was, to go. It was some like, Chili's too. Yeah. yeah Chili's too. Yeah. That's yeah, what we yeah, call yeah. the airport. Uh, anyway, that's a good question. Yeah. What's the threshold? When do you get a second wedding? Because I, I read that and he thought it was ridiculous. It was, it was Mr. Steez. My friend Steve. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, he's like, he's like, this is crazy. I don't, I don't like that we're doing this. This is wild. Especially if you're going twice. Like it was already weird for me to go to Trey's wedding. It's sure. like, I know he's already been married, but I wasn't at the first one. This is still fun. Right. But if like 50 of those people had already been at the first one. Right. That'd be weird. Like we, I remember dancing the cha-cha slide the first time you guys got married. <laughs> like you're not renewing your vows. You're, <laughs> you're redoing your vows. Tonight at Pickleball, they were playing the kind of an interesting play. It's like one every seven songs was the original, but six out of seven were like covers it was, it by was someone. Bad. It went up. It had peaks and valleys big time. During my first game, it was just like three super sad, super slow country, country songs, songs in a row. And I was like, what's going on here? Yeah. But at one point, it was like a knockoff Cha Cha Slide, and it is now my least favorite song I've ever heard. I don't know what it was. I still have the theory that it's it's Cha Cha Slide Part One, which like is a the good theory one. because it's the same guy's voice. I think that like the Mister Casper, whatever his name is. And what does he say at the beginning goes, of the Cha Cha Slide that we all know? Everybody clap! Me. Oh, no. this is something <laughs> new, Casper Slide Part Two. Uh huh. And this time we're featuring the something of the band. This time we're gonna get funky, 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 funky. Everybody, that, and so they were not getting funky in the first one. Is what I'm trying to say. They were not. It was like, like octave down the whole thing. It was like a slower BPM. Much like everything slower. was just like the funk was not there. Go ahead and clap your hands. So okay, I will say, <laughs> addendum. Come on now. Yeah. Do you feel it out there? It's the cha cha slide <laughs> coming at you live. Yeah. Uh, okay. Addendum. If you have 50 people or less, but you play cha-cha slide part one at your wedding reception, <laughs> you get a do over. You owe it to them. I will. I will <laughs> let you do it again. But other than that, you're being ridiculous. The cha-cha slide has reminded me of, I'm not exaggerating, two of my least favorite social things okay. that I, I just can't stand that oh happen. And they, sometimes they go together. Yeah. I can't stand it. One, when people like a, a waitress will drop something and everyone starts clapping, drives me nuts. Oh, I can't stand that. They clap out of sarcasm. Like when people I don't know like, why I said it like that, but yeah, <laughs> sarcasm, the clap out of sarcasm. <laughs> no window. My, there was a window seat. Window 32 F. You know what? Yeah. F this. I'll yeah, go to yeah, 36. Yeah. <laughs> the lady from Titanic. <laughs> She was the, never mind. Uh, so yeah, I, I just feel like people, I saw it at camp every now and then, like a kitschy would like drop some balls and they're like, yeah, I feel like that's a thing. Like people that's just clap when you drop. Right? That's, that's, oh, that's I hate it. When did oh. that start? Why do we do this? I, I will never do it. You'll never catch me doing it. I think yeah. it's the worst thing. And then follow up similarly, just like you, you'll find yourself in a social situation every now and then where someone will just say like, they're like, Hey, check this out. Check this out. Everybody clap your hands. And then like people were like, uh, oh. like, uh, like the, like the, oh, you're doing the everybody clap your hands. Oh yeah, I did it that wrong. One. See, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even know. Right. I don't even want to remember how to do it. Everybody oh. clap your hand. And like, yeah. look, everyone's clapping. Like, yeah, oh, those dude. are two. Th that sounds like both things that happen a lot of camp. Oh, I just can't stand it. Yeah. Maybe that was more like that would happen in like college like situations uh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Do not ever, not, don't even as a joke, do that around me. I was about to say, I might do that sometimes. Don't but you even don't want it. Because there's certain things when I go and like perform and see ghosties, like there's certain things people do because they know I don't like it or right, whatever. Like right. I think uh, Nyao had like mm -hmm. her friend come up and be like, hey, Jake, like from State Farm, right? Oh, and I was, I was totally like, oh, nice, nice. We should you get know? a burger later, man. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't catch on that they were like poking fun of me because I didn't know this guy. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that he was with her you right. know, whatever. So people like to do stuff like that. So, so don't a anything else is fair game. Do not seriously everybody guys, clap your hands to me. Don't everyone that meets him should not say that. <laughs> that out was going to okay? happen, but I'm not going to like you. How about that? How's that? I'll feel? punch you in the face. I, I'm not. I will, I'm serious. I'll punch you in the face. I'm going to think less of you if you do that to yeah. me. Yeah. So oh you can, gosh. but I will think less of you. But you'll get punched. You'll never get a wacky Jackie segment like yes. Jackie got. Yes. That was great. Um, okay. <sighs> okay. So don't do it. Don't do it guys. Seriously. <laughs> Where are you going next?
Uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey. If you are in New Brunswick, New Jersey, and you are at the show, do not do it halfway. Like if there's an awkward, <laughs> if you do it if there's during an the awkward show, silence, I've actually put you in the show. Face. If there's an awkward silence in the show, like he makes a joke and then like, people laugh, and then like he oh. waits for the laugh, and there's a little bit of silence, and somebody says that, don't guys, don't do that. <laughs> guys, you understand? I'm serious. Do not pick up on Brad's sarcasm. It will not be funny. <laughs> don't. Pick it will not be hilarious. <laughs> an incredible story for the podcast. It won't. It won't. It won't. Jake's trying to do something professional here and it would not be good okay i'm so nervous oh okay we got to never talk about this again because i don't want people to remember that this is a thing by the time i'm like going to cities where people are going to be like i'm not worried about new brunswick but by the next one there's going to be beat <laughs> if someone claps in the middle of my comedy set I'm gonna be so mad at you. Uh, I'm gonna be so mad. Why? At what have I said? What have I said that makes you mad at me about it? I'm telling people right now that would not be good. That's not good content. Okay, I would not film it as well. Okay, you're not supposed to have your phones out. I wouldn't conceal it behind a sweater in your seat and film this thing. Okay, because and send it to Ellis Custom Creations at Instagram.com. Don't do that, guys. Seriously, have a conscience. I, it's funny now, but oh my gosh. And if you see Jake on an airplane, <laughs> do not do it on there as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anything Cha Cha Slide related just gets me fired up. The idea of some like just podcast fan who thinks they're hilarious just in the middle of my set. <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> and like six other people clap. <laughs> I would legitimately tell the security guard like, hey, can we get those people out of here? Yeah. Hey, Brian. Yeah. I don't want to get hooked up with those girls, but please get that guy out of here. Like, <laughs> that's your job. Oh, my gosh. When are you in Kansas City? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Never. I would never. Oh. The security guard in Spokane was really cool. He's a big Broncos fan. So he'd always like say oh. something like negative about the Chiefs right as I'm going on stage. Okay. <laughs> In fact, this is our year. Go Broncos. <laughs> right. So I was like running up. Oh, man. Cool Broncos guy. fans growing up were the worst because they were so good. And they the were Chiefs good. were so bad. And now it's like, what now, baby? Paid Manning's, paid Manning's retired for life from football. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So that's been uh, that. Um, <laughs> this has been a fun episode. I think people are going to be <laughs> laughing at this one. Okay. Um, can we talk about Isaac real quick? Uh, oh, yeah. So Isaac messaged us uh, this morning in group chat um, and said, hey, anybody recognize this guy? And it was a video of this guy like on his uh like in his house it looked like and so it looked like a living room apparently it was the back patio which okay. i was like how okay. is the Spoiling audio the so oh sorry. i'm teasing I'm te no that's exactly what i thought i was like i was it, it was a it was a picture of a guy we'll say he's in his living room you'll never know dramatic irony um <laughs> he was he was on a back patio okay i, I don't get it i don't know i'm don't lost know. the guy was in his uh on his back patio somebody's filming him uh through this like fence you know in his backyard kind of thing and he's talking and all of a sudden he looks and he like notices that uh, like somebody's filming him and the, the camera goes away really fast and they run away. Uh, and he's like, anybody recognize this guy? And it clearly like it was very obviously looking like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it looks like Leonardo DiCaprio. And but I was like, but I was like, is that Isaac's video? Like, this is a dumb joke, dude. Like you found <laughs> this video on Twitter and you downloaded it and is sending it to us. And he so Isaac's in Tulsa right now visiting a friend of his. And he's like. Leonardo DiCaprio lives behind in the backyard, like of my friend. Yeah. I mean, in the house in the behind my friend. And I was immediately skeptical. I was like, there's no why I was sold. I was like, no, we have proof. He has a video of Leonardo DiCaprio. I, I just, I was like, why would he be in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Uh, you know, and, and why is Leonardo DiCaprio is a very big deal. Why would he be able to like, get access I, yeah. from this fence? Like, or whatever Isaac's, and Isaac's like, no, he's on this patio because it looked like he was a living room at first. And so we're like, there's no way that you could like hear what this guy. It seems like such a stage like setup thing because the way he like looked back and like made eye, like almost eye contact with Isaac and like was suspicious really quick. It was like a scene from a movie where, you know, that like the main character is about to get in some trouble. Like he's about to get caught, like he's playing a little right. too close to the gun. Right. And um, he's about to get his vest looked at. Like it felt like that, like in yeah. the movie Disturbia, where it's like, you're getting too close. Like, right. we know this is going to happen. You're right. getting too close to the creepy old man. And all of a sudden, yeah. But Isaac was like, no, he lives behind. And uh, apparently, you know, the, the, one of the cable guys like spilled the beans of like, yeah, I'm not supposed to. I signed an NDA, but uh, you know, DiCaprio lives uh -huh. right there. And now it's we're like, telling people. Well, yep. Yeah. That's what happens when you sign an NDA. You're not supposed to. Yep. Sorry, um, cable man. 
That's right. Sorry, Isaac texted it to me first individually because he'd already previously told me that like, hey, like so and so like lives apparently right next to Leo. Yeah. And yeah, I thought he was Leo was in the living room. And so I was imagining Isaac like snuck into their backyard. Right. To get, and so I texted him I was like, dude, that's insane. That's too much. But you're also, going to get in trouble. I said, you're going to go to jail. dude. Yeah. And he was like, no, no, no. It's to the fence. I was like, oh, great. Yeah. Well, have at it. He's like, yeah, we're going to try to get in their pool tomorrow. Yeah, that's what he said. He's like, <laughs> he's like, we're going to play dumb and see if we can go swimming in their pool. Hey, the nerd to ask. Yeah, shoot your shot, I guess. But that's a weird like thing for a normal person to ask a normal person. So <laughs> can we go swim in your pool? <laughs> anyway, apparently he's filming a, a movie in Oklahoma. And so that's why he's like, I don't think he's like, that's his permanent residence by any means, but he's living there but now. Still, Isaac has looked Leonardo DiCaprio in the eyes. That's wild. It was, it was like, I couldn't believe it. I still, I still like 99.9% believe it. Like there's still a tinge of me. that's like something's off here. <laughs> Um, anyway, that was just crazy. That was crazy. Crazy thing of the week. Crazy thing of the week. Uh, real quick, Brad, it was, so Nashville was awesome. It was a good time. Mm. It was crazy. The the streets were a good time. Made an Instagram story, but I also saw just a unbelievable amount of $15 patrons. You did. On, on Broadway. Yeah. That's where, that's where they're known to hang out. Yeah. All of them happen to be there or not all of them, but I mean, almost all of them, like, um, Stacy Morris was the first one I saw. Oh, she loves the honky tonk scene. Yeah, she's a honky tonk. She asked me yeah. to call her uh, stonky, stonky, wait, <laughs> stonky Stacey, monkey. Stacy tonk. Stacey. Good segment. Good segment. Hey, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, no. Yeah. Stacy was yeah. there and she was in all denim and oh, oh, she looked as good as ever. And she, sure. was, she was sweating a lot. But mm-hmm. she said, this is how I roll. This is how she does it. And then she went to the bathroom. Okay. Good. <laughs> and then, of course, there was Mallory Chargoy. Yes. French people love. That's the French Quarter in Nashville, right? The French Quarter in Nashville. That's, that's it. The mm-hmm. French love country music. Yep. Chargois loves the country. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then uh, that was really fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Olivaria. Oh. The, the, the Latino community uh, also. I, I believe uh, Salvadorian? Guadalupe? San Salvador or El Sal? Uh, both. <laughs> San Salve is in El Salve. Is it? I think it's the capital of El Salvador. Checks out for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Anyway, she was there. Uh, she actually was um, waving a El Salvadorian flag. Oh, yeah. She's because talk- because they're playing the World Cup in Nashville, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's coming up. Uh-huh. And so she's just getting getting prepped. Uh-huh. Uh, Lindsay Bishop was in the mix. She was actually performing. She was at like one of those bars and she just had like... Oh, uh, she was playing chess. She's like a comp- competitive chess player. No, she was no? um she was playing country music. Oh, okay. Oh well, that, that makes more sense in Nashville. <laughs> I'm just really giving Nashville some new personality here. Um but it was weird though. She she was kind of playing it like you you know that scene in uh, Forrest Gump where Jenny is like completely nude, but the guitar is covering her up. Oh yeah. I know. That was what she was doing. I was really? like, hey, you don't need to be doing this. Lindsay. Yeah. yeah. But hey, tips were flowing. Yeah. Eddie Desco was in the mix. Desco. Desco. Desco was my boy back in college, dude. <laughs> Big E. Dude, take me to a Thursday night with Desco, dude. <laughs> <laughs> take me down to O'Malley's <laughs> and let's party with Desco. That's what we always said. Hey, you won't catch me at my Desco. You'll nope. see me party with old Desco. Desco. <laughs> no, 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 hey, Desco. Hey, let's go. Uh, Catherine Darcy was there. She was, she actually set the record for the longest time on the mechanical bull in the Seriously? honky tonk. How long was it? It, it was a four and a half hours. Really? <laughs> yeah. A whole Titanic and a half. Yeah. It was yeah. awesome. She had, have you ever seen those like fighter jets that can refuel in air? Uh-huh. That's kind of what she was doing. She had a catheter <laughs> installed. <laughs> And, and that's she, how you refuel with a catheter. <laughs> well, she also had someone like providing her drink. She had a camel back on. Oh, she had a camel back and a catheter. Camel cath. Camel yeah. cath. Uh-huh. And um, it was impressive. <laughs> what a scene. They, they actually had to switch out people operating the joystick. They were switching out more than she was. Really? Yeah. Old Darcy, wow. Darcy do showed him how she yeah, does yeah, it. Yeah, their, their hand got, got tired on the joystick. Uh-huh. And then uh, I saw Kaylee Miller, which Kaylee's always fun because she spells her name K A L I. So you're always nervous if you're pronouncing it right. But you're like, that's probably it's probably Kaylee. Kaylee, yeah, you're Callie. There's no way it's Callie. She's not from Cali, so it wouldn't make sense to call her no, that. No, she's from she's Nashville. Born and raised in Nashville. Maybe Franklin, like she's a suburb girl. But yeah, yeah. She she says she's from Nashville just to be. She's a Predators fan, so why <laughs> why wouldn't she be a Nashville Huge person? Preds fan? Yeah, big into the Preds. Oh yeah. She thinks next year's their year because mm-hmm. the playoffs are now for Stanley Cup. For, in nashville and that's hey, all of them i think <laughs> that's that's what Kali says <laughs> <laughs> hey colleagues words, it's not mine mm-hmm. and then uh oh kylie dennis 
<laughs> uh, Kylie and Dennis. Uh, Dennis. Yeah. Oh, the Dennis. Kylie, Dennis the Menace. Yeah. Um, she was there. She and was there for her weekly checkup <laughs> at the Dennis. Uh-huh. At Dennis' office. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it was good to see Kylie. We caught up and she asked me uh, how I came to Christ. And caught up with Kylie, Kylie talked about Christ? I talked about Christ, but I only okay. had two minutes. So I just gave her the bullet points. Uh-huh. Good. Um, but it was fun. And then last person <laughs> that I saw, uh, Caleb J. Korf was there. Oh, CJ Korf. Yeah. And he was like, he's got some, I thought it was allergies at first because he had just like a nasty Korf. But yeah, it's yeah. like kind of like a whooping corf. He's very phlegmatic in this corf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, overall, he had a good time. He okay. was there visiting his sister. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, what's, what's her at name? At least I, I hope that was his sister. And um, I mean, the, the things they were doing, let's hope they were brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the opposite. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it like takes you away. Like, yeah. Wait, why would you hope? They were brother and Let's sister. just say I hope they are brother and sister. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, so, I hope they were related. So what were they doing? <laughs> yeah, what would that even like? What? Uh, like, they were signing their parents' will together. They're, they're, I don't know. Uh, they were. I don't know. How do you know what? I God, I hope they were siblings. Yeah. Um, it's like sharing a lollipop. Well, no, nope, no, nope. There's not much you can do that's appropriate for that, and not appropriate for your wife. I hope it was a sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's a funny phrase right <laughs> oh man it turns out it's my sister oh we were signing my parents will <laughs> yeah that's a, such a funny thing to think of <laughs> um hey speaking of the cadence of that sentence uh-huh. it's time to bring back blanks of the week blanks of the week they're back come on, come on. they're back come on do we want to ooh, let's start off easy? Let's okay. get more and more exciting. Let's start with habit of the week, Brad. Uh, habit, 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 habit of the week. Uh, we'll cut it out. Let's cut that out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my habit of the week is kind of twofold. I, I've been talking about how I've been going to bed and getting up earlier. Have I talked about that? Much I know you've definitely mentioned that you you have been going to bed and then waking up in the morning. Yes, that's that's what everyone. So so today, how was your day? I woke. I up. woke up. Oh, get out of town! Might as well everybody clap me your hands, me. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Every yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I've been going to bed at like eight thirty nine. I'm talking like early, getting up at it, five. The o'clock. exact eight thirty nine. Mm-hmm. That's very precise of you. Thank you. It's you use melatonin. You put you pop one, pop a tonin. You pound a tonin at eight oh four. Eight thirty nine. You're good. Good. Thirty five minute uh, extended release. So, um, I've been going to bed around like pretty early in the night and then getting up at like five, five, 12 and five fifteen are my alarms. And so those go off and then I usually have nine minutes or so. So I'm getting up around five twenty ish and I love it. I, I really do enjoy like getting up before the rest of my family and everything. And one of the things I've been doing lately is going on, I've been going to the parks and walking a lot. Okay. I've walked like 21 miles this week so far. In Hot four days. Dog. It's only been four days I've been doing this. So it's a new habit. Fun new habit. Kind of fun. fun new yeah. Have a, have a, have a, have a, have a, have a, That's supposed to be like a SSX tricky guy. Like new time bonus. Remember that? Anyway. I've got a new habit. Have a, have a, have a. It's supposed to be like a cool uh, beatbox. I just touched my face and remembered the grime cake I have. It's just <laughs> okay. so disgusting. It's okay. We'll, it's we'll, a cake. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. cake. So anyway, yeah, new habit. Going to the park. Uh, just having time by myself, reflecting, honestly, been trying to do a lot of stand up comedy, like thinking of stand up comedy material. The first couple of times I went to the park, I was like practicing it as I was walking. Then I looked like the crazy guy. At you the look park. like a psycho, but you look like a homeless person. Yeah. just going around just saying things out loud. Oh, here's a, here's a quick story. Uh, at the park, it was, doesn't matter what day it was. I think it was yesterday. This kid comes up to me and he's like, Darian, Hey, Darian. Darian, there's a dead squirrel over there. And he's like, he's like way far away at like the, uh, the playground, like coming over I like and he this. keeps coming and saying the same thing. Darian, come look at this dead squirrel. And this kid's like a bigger, bigger kid. Looks like he likes taco Tuesday a lot. Okay. Um, you know, probably 10 years old. Uh, and I'm like, I, I realized later on he's here with, I think probably a grandpa of a figure. Like okay. this guy, it's kind of like the Nate Bargetsy skit where the guy gets conf- <laughs> like, he gets confused for the guy's elderly wife, Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the same idea as that. Like I looked back and I noticed this guy did have a backwards hat on and so did I. So I'll give him that. But everything else about us, that, that motivated me to walk my buns off because I'm like, if you think that I look like Darian, <laughs> You, I'm going to punch you in the face. No. Uh, and so like, it was just an awkward, I actually took a picture of Darian That's as good. he was getting in the car. So maybe I'll post it on Patreon. Later. Like I got confused for this guy. This guy. I'm going to show it to you real fast. Actually. Okay. Um, if I can pull it up, let's see. And you, ha- it sounds like you have been walking your buns off though. 
I've been trying to. 21 miles is no joke. Yeah, today I ran, or ran, I walked seven. I have not ran once. So. Walked seven. Seven miles, dude. I, I, I didn't do it all at once. I did, I think I did four miles in the morning and then I went back this afternoon. So, afternoon. Hey, smart. Is right in the heat warm. of the day. Wait till <laughs> heat index about 104 and then crank out. I walk. don't hate, I don't hate, uh, I don't hate walking in the uh, heat. I Honestly, like the heat it's refreshing bit. to sweat again. Like, I, you yeah. know, it's better in the cold. That's what I've always said. There's Darian. Oh, Darian. Not a great picture of him, but. Oh, I mean, first of all, Darian's got those calves where you can see all of their veins. Yeah, Darian old. Darian old. And whew. maybe those were maybe those were walking calves, though. And I, I don't know what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I don't know. So that's Darian. Doesn't look like me at all. His, his skin is translucent. He is wearing a golf polo, which I wear. I wear a decent amount of those on Sunday mornings. Sure. I mean, but I wasn't at the park. I wasn't wearing those at the park. <laughs> I would never. So there's Darian for you. Uh, so yeah, that's my new habit. Okay. That's your new habit. My habit of the week is golf. I've played uh, my first two ever, like full rounds, like 18 holes of golf, both this week. And uh, I'm a golf boy now. Yeah. I oh, actually went to buy clubs this morning for Facebook Marketplace. Guy no showed me. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I thought we were just straight up. Yeah, we, we had a good did thing going. Ever, in the did DMs. he ever tell you later on, like, hey, sorry, something happened and I couldn't come? <laughs> Honestly, what seems to happen is I think, he, here's my guess. He was trying to scam me, but it was his first time scamming someone. <laughs> so he, he's a little nervous okay. and he forgot to get the payment first. Ah. Like he just, he sketchily like evaded me, but okay. it, he hadn't, I hadn't paid him yet. He forgot. You got to do that part first. Did you set up the meeting? Like, like you said, yeah, yeah, like, we chatted we, back and forth a lot about the, the golf clubs, what time we could meet different schedules. Like, oh, I'm going to be in Nashville now. He's like, Saturday morning, I'm going to golf galaxy to pick out a new putter. I'm like, perfect. That's like on the way I'm playing golf that morning. It's be great. I'll get new clubs. Yeah. Like, yeah that's awesome. Man. You know, it's like going to make sense. We're going to meet in a golf parking lot. This is great. Yeah. Seem normal. And then I went to message him that morning. Hey, running like five minutes late. And the message wouldn't send. It's like, you cannot send this message. He blocked you straight It's up. weird. Yeah. And when I asked Peter, he's a big face of marketplace guy. And he was like, oh, he's like, they can market as sold and you can still message. But once they like delete the listing, you cannot communicate. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find this guy on Facebook. He's a ghost. Yeah. So I don't know what happened. That's that kind of thing's happened to me before. Yeah. I think, yeah, maybe they block you or maybe they just straight up just like deleted the listing and yeah, his profile or he just sold it to a buddy. It's like, this is way easier. Maybe because that seems like a weird thing to like. Was it like a really good deal? Is that part of why you think? No clue. Okay. I didn't even try to like haggle the price. I was like, oh, okay, I'll take them. <laughs> yeah. You know, whatever. Um, That's smart. That's smart of you. But yeah, big golf boy now. I, uh, in case there's any golf people out there and you're curious, I'm terrible today. I'm not even going to tell you my score, what I did today. But on Tuesday, on the back nine, I parred five of the nine holes. Whoa, that's really good. It was crazy. That's awesome. I did not do that today. Okay. <laughs> but I did that on but Tuesday. But the, the, the greens were rough today, you said. Hey, thanks. Yeah, that, that makes a difference. I guarantee you that makes a difference. A little bit. I, I had trouble of... getting to the greens. Okay. So it was there was a lot going on. But that's probably in your head of like, I don't even need to hit the greens on this one. <laughs> I got to chip it in. Help me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Well, so, anyway. so here's a question, because I know that today you played with some really good golfers. Yeah. I mean, good like casual good golfers. No, like they're not good. Like, I mean, shot Scott shot. Well, Scott, <laughs> Happy birthday, Scott. Uh, shot below par today. Yeah. So that's like good. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then the other day you played with Trey, who's learning like you are. Mm -hmm. Is there a little bit? Do you think maybe you perform better when you're not playing with maybe better players? I also uh, just like the clubs I was using probably makes a difference too. Like oh, I've yeah. been using what they call like game improvement irons, where they're a little more forgiving. They're like okay. for beginners. And then I didn't get my new clubs today. So then I had to use like Peter's like really nice. Like and they're probably like in like tuned to him. Maybe? And I'm just like, hey, I'm not trying to play Madden on all pro. I was looking sure. for like beginner, maybe veteran. Yeah. And I had to play on all pro today or all Madden. Mm -hmm. And so that, that was probably a little bit of it, too. But OK, honestly, like I don't care how bad my score is. If anything, it's like kind of fun. Like I don't even hate that I shot like terribly today because they're like two months from now I shot this. Look yeah, where I'm at yeah, now. Yeah. It's kind of like a benchmark. So like, this is great. I don't sure. care about my score. I had a yeah, good time. you got to get a good standard going. Uh -huh. like, yeah. You can't get lucky at the beginning because then if you do bad later, you're like regressing. You have weird expectations. Yeah. 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 So, um, okay. but it's fun. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I bought a, uh, a range finder. Big thing in golf. You oh, know, yeah. So you know, Isaac bought one of those too. Yeah. You, I didn't know what it was until he told me. It's helpful to know how far away you are, you know, to know Makes what sense. club you want to use. So I bought one. It was like a crazy good deal. Played against sports. Normally 240 new. This was going for $99, sure. which is still a lot for a laser, essentially. Yeah. I, I thought about bringing a telescope out there and just like, or like one of those like spy yeah, glass things. Yeah, yeah. And um, anyway, every time I play with people, mine is just like five yards short. Like sometimes it's like 10 yards short. It's just like off. Everyone else is get the same reading. And mine is just like off every time. And I was like, I had Luke look at it today, like whole 16. We're almost done. He's like, dude, it's in meters. I was like, ah, <laughs> come on. 
And that it, it would, it's weird how much that made my day. <laughs> I dislike taking things back so bad. I already had it in my head. I have to take this thing back. It's it's inaccurate. No wonder it was being sold again. Someone had to take it back. Are you good, by the way? You're I got to go to the bathroom real You're bad. making some sorry, crazy sorry, faces. Sorry, sorry. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, keep going. No, I will. What if I start the announcement of the week without you? Okay. And then you come in for it because okay. I, can, I can do all that anyway. Sorry. I was, I was really trying to listen to the range finder thing. Though. No, I was you're listening good. the whole time. No, you're good. Sorry. <laughs> I was like legitimately worried about your health. You no, looked no. like. I was, I was just, I'm good. Okay. No, you're fine. Okay, so uh, announcement of the week. Brad's got a phone. Brad, be thinking about how you're going to say this. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we actually have two uh, pretty big announcements, uh, which is kind of fun <clears throat> to announce back to back. So announcement of the week. Uh, I'll make this pretty short. The, this is what the live studio audience got to find out. Uh, this is what the patrons found out this past week. And now you guys are finding out what is happening will probably be public by the end of this week. Like we're hoping by like Thursday or Friday of this week, it will become a thing. What is the thing? Thank you for asking. Basically, uh, Trey and I are wanting to scale what we do. We, we want to be able to uh, just grow the business, but also without necessarily like just making more videos with Trey in it. Because for the longest time, that seemed like the only way to really scale it. It's like, yeah, we can make a second YouTube channel that's middle school Maddox, and we can now and then we can have like two different things, you know, kind of going on. But I mean, that requires Trey every time. And Trey had this idea basically where it's like, hey, forget an e-course, forget a podcast network. Like, what are we good at? What is the bread and butter? It is viral, relatable, clean comedy videos. They go on Facebook and YouTube. And so it's like, why are we not? It seems so obvious now. Why have we not doubled down on this? And so that's what we're doing. We're creating a second YouTube channel uh, that Trey. Brad's back, everyone. Brad's back. We're creating a second YouTube channel and Trey will be in some of the videos at the beginning to kind of try and build some like brand familiarity to try and get people to like subscribe, get into the channel. Um, but the, the plan is to completely wean Trey off from an on-camera presence on this channel. Trey will still be overseeing it all. He'll guide the direction of the, of the brand uh, and he will be writing for it. I will be writing for it. Uh, and what we want to do is like bring in people who are talented uh, on camera and can be funny, can help write, but maybe don't have any kind of platform. We want to give them a platform and our first person that we're gonna be doing this with is Big Daddy! Let's go, baby! <laughs> so yeah. it, it's just, it's crazy exciting. Basically, Brad and I are about to be making a lot of YouTube videos together. Yeah. You're gonna alongside see me on the Trey. silver screen, I think is what they say. The, the big tube. Big Apple. Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, we had a name and <laughs> we're changing the name. And as of now, we don't know what the name is, but I so think- So guess by, below. So guess what you think it'll guess be what the five called? Uh, so it's just really exciting. There's going to be so much uh, content that we're that we're pumping out, and it'll primarily be with Brad and I uh, in front of the camera, which is fun. I don't have to shoot it. Uh, Trey and I's um, kind of podcast producer and fellow videographer Derek will be uh, shooting and editing all that. So it just it's fun. It feels like a, a fun transition. It feels like a good move for the future. And like who knows yeah. what this could turn into? Who knows what this could be someday? But we're just fired up. We've already shot two or three videos. Two. We shot two videos this past week. Yeah. Uh, we're getting together, we'll probably shoot another two this week, and we're just gonna start like cranking out some some videos. So yeah. you guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. We're gonna blow up our Instagram this week. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. We'll make sure to blow it up, and that'll be our way of communicating. Like, hey, here's the name of the channel. First video is live. Go watch it. Yeah. Uh, super fun. So that's what that's what I did Monday and Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I, I that's that's been like the highlights of my week for sure. But I didn't want to like straight up say that yeah, yeah and so yeah. then i froze on whatever else i did this week because i was like i don't know and then last I, I week i wrote things and filmed and things you know i, I think last and... week on the episode we were i was like what are you doing and you're like tomorrow's gonna be like a big day oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i know what i'm doing tomorrow yeah. yeah that's what it was yeah 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 so it's really exciting we're it's gonna be fun Ho hopefully it goes well if anything else i can say hey i was in uh videos with trey kennedy for a few months and because <laughs> because trey met with me actually the the week the, oh yeah the day like right before we had our uh like, live studio audience. Yeah, yeah, live studio audience. Trey and I met uh, right down the street from uh, where we were recording that. He said coffee like that morning. Yeah, because he he like messaged me like, hey, man, you want to get up, like meet together? And I was like, yeah, as soon as you want to, I will, I'm available. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, we hung out that morning and he was like, full disclosure, this, this, I don't know if this is going to go anywhere. It might, it might crash and burn. Uh, I mean, it really is. I mean, we were starting from scratch. Obviously we have yeah. Trey's following, but like I think one end, that's what's so fun about it. It's right. like, it's so fun to like grow it's a something. Huge challenge. When's the yeah. last time I've done something like this? You right. know, just like growing from this beginning. Yeah. Uh, but who knows? We don't know if it's going to work. I'm so, so confident, at least 
I, I'm confident in us, but I'm also confident in our Ghost Runners community that they're going to and rally get behind us and get, it, yeah, at least get that initial push really going. So, uh, we can, yeah, we'll, we'll tell you all the ways you can help, you know, soon enough, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting. So yeah. Uh, share it on your Instagram story, share it on your Facebook page. Yeah. Tell your YouTube friends to subscribe to us. And yeah, so we recorded on Wednesday for that. And there were a few times I really appreciate Trey and it's fun to like see like how the sausage is made basically turkey sausage. Uh, yeah. Two of the main like, uh, constructive criticisms he would keep doing to me on like different takes was be really tight with it. Like do it as quick as possible and be bigger, like be louder. And I'm like, bro, if once I get comfortable, I'm going to be plenty loud. Like, you know, it, it's still like a little bit awkward for me. And like, you know, I would fumble over my words a lot and stuff like that. Uh, but I think once I get more comfortable, it's going to be really fun for me. So yeah. Uh, anyway, but I, I, but I was like, okay, that's, that's fun to like now know that's his mindset and now watch his videos back and be like, oh, he was tight right there, you know, in his way he was saying that, or he, you know, he was like crazy loud right there. You mm -hmm. know, obviously I knew that he's like big and boisterous with that stuff. So anyway, it's fun. Good stuff. Good. Very exciting. Yeah. Brad, what is your announcement of the week? Okay. So actually this announcement's a little bit preemptive. Is that the right word? Premature? Uh, because he, he's not exactly positive okay. how it's so going to work. We just tease it then. We just tease it. Okay. Teaser. Coming to uh, you next week. We're going to have a uh, new merch product, if you will, that's going to be a potential to have subscription-based uh, ordering for it. Or you can order it one time at a time. But Oh, that's all you're teasing. Oh, do you want me to tease more? I think it's fun. Might as well. Titillate them. Um, yeah. So basically my cousin came by the other day. My cousin owns this really like gourmet coffee company in Kinsey that roasts coffee. And he just like kind of not as a joke, but like as a prototype gave me this bag of beans that has the Ghost Runners Just Drinks logo on it. And another one that has a Ghost Runners logo on it. And so it's like, so I think we're going to try to sell those coffee beans um, and like have them branded as the Ghost Runners. But they're like really like high quality beans and so anyway, yeah, that's the, that's the main idea behind it. We don't know all the details and got to figure all that out, but I'm really excited. Like the about Ghost Runners it. Coffee Club, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How official, exciting is that? Official coffee of Saturdays. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's crazy exciting. And it's going to be sweet. I think, yeah, we could sign up and we'll just be sending coffee to, to your doorstep, <laughs> like how often we end up, yeah. you know, signing once a month or something like that. So yeah, you can probably choose your frequency. We so, can all be sipping on the same coffee. Yeah. That's kind of fun. It is really fun. And it's like super good. Like... It's crazy, yeah, how affordable it is for how good it is. So, and anyway. speaking of sipping on the same stuff, uh, we just released like 20, 25, however many. Sure, we did. Yeah. Like new things of merch on. Yeah, we did. Ghostrunners.live. There's a lot of like summer themed stuff that the tie dye hat keeps selling out. Yes. Which is awesome. Yeah. So it'll come back if, if you're like, oh, I really wanted that cotton candy hat. It'll come back. I promise. Yeah. There's other color options and there's lots of other shirts and mugs and a uh, new sticker that has Jake's uh, picture on it from <laughs> high school. Cause I really, I really want somebody to take a picture of like their laptop or their uh, <laughs> water bottle that has that on there. So, but yeah, ton of stickers that, Oh, that one new mug is really cool too. Yeah. yeah isn't couple, that cool? A couple new hats and a bunch of new t-shirts. Yeah. Which are really fun. So a Santo Mac themed t-shirt. <laughs> pretty fun. That's awesome. Uh, how's your mom? That's not what it says, but um, anyway, yeah, I always have fun making those things and I really appreciate you guys for buying them. So yeah. Thank you. Hattie, Hattie's going to college guys. Um, uh, our last bike of the week is going to be babe of the week. Uh, okay. my babe of the week goes to Jenna from NBC. Okay. The NBC crew was awesome. Kristen, Jenna, Grace. They were so much fun to hang out with the whole time we were there. We were just kind of chilling off to the side and they were just a hoot and a half. Yeah. But, uh, there we are at Hattie B's. Ooh, I hear good things about it. Yeah. I've been a few times for it. Good chicken. Okay. Good chicken. Hattie has a shirt that says Hattie B's on it. Good for her. Mm -hmm. And... Jenna brings up, oh, it's also super cool. Just like their job. Like they just, they're always like traveling for sports. Just like three, just like sporty girls. They were just like really fun. We got along great. Like they're going to Tokyo for the Olympics because NBC does that, you know? That's pretty So legit. I don't even know what they do exactly, but like they're pretty high up at NBC, I yeah. think. But they're like all like women in their 20s and they're just yeah. fun. Cool. Jenna mentions like, yeah, we, so we're doing the Olympics. We do some NASCAR stuff. We do this, that. We also do Sunday night football. I was like, oh, that's awesome. Like I'm a huge Chiefs fan. I think we got some games this week. She's like, Oh, I mean, just like holler at me when you want like to be hooked up when we're coming to town. I said, Jen, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. When do, do they come to Kansas City? Um, so I think we have like three Sunday night games this yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two are away. Yeah. One is at home. OK, I'm going to be performing in Reading, Pennsylvania that night. OK, uh, but hey, Sunday games get flexed all the time. Yeah, that's true. And and the Chiefs are so exciting. So they're going to be on. Yeah. Uh, 
I am going to a game. I believe that the Chiefs are playing the Ravens in Baltimore. Yes. Cool guy Sammy and I are going to that game. Confirmed you are going? Yes. And that's Sunday Night Football. Yes. <gasps> I think we should all go. If I, I could email Jenna. I would definitely email Jenna. Because then I, I don't even need tickets from Cool Guy Sammy. I can just get my own from Jenna. Absolutely. Be like, yeah, hey, hey, whoa, it's crazy. I'm in, I'm in Baltimore yeah. for the night. Yeah. It's the craziest thing. Let's get three together in a suite, and then Cool Guy Sammy sells his, and we profit. <laughs> I don't think I'll be in a suite, but we'll see. No, well, Jenna gets the sweets. That is funny. That's what we did to uh, the second time we collabed uh, with Logan Paul when Juggler Josh and I were tubing. Mm-hmm. He was like, you know... He, we, second I think time. we emailed him. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And he was just like, yeah, I mean, super down to make a video again with you guys. You guys were a lot of fun. Just like holler at me next time you're in L.A. And so it was like, well, we're not just like casually right. in L.A. that often. So we flew there. And then once we landed, we texted him. No way. And we're just like, hey, like we're in L.A. And just like we just, just hoped that just he was waited available? on a text back. Yeah, yeah. Really? Did you have like a, hey, we're only going to be here for three days or whatever? I think we were just going to stay there until he texted back. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Because he was that big of a deal. Yeah. I was just like, we will, we will make this work. Like, hey, (laughs) we're in LA. Like we could shoot right now or, you know, whatever. So how quickly did you guys end up shooting? Do you remember? I think we had to wait a couple hours for a text back, but then it was like, hey, I could do it this time or this time. And really, he was pretty great about it. That's cool. But yeah, it was kind of scary. It's like, man, what, what do we do if he doesn't, you know, text (laughs) back? I remember you saying that you... Had a lot of appreciation for him after meeting him and stuff, right? Yeah, I think I, yeah, I just assumed a lot of like the wrong things. And yeah, he he worked crazy hard when we were doing it. And that was when he was like crushing. It. I mean, he was at the top of YouTube. He was like the number one vlogger in the world. And mm-hmm. it was like, this makes sense. Why you're, you know, you were working your tail off. Took yes. us, took us, sorry. Took us off. Took us off. So wow. anyway, my boob of the week goes to Jenna from NBC for her promises she made. And I confirmed it with Kristen later. She's like, yeah, I mean, any Chiefs game you want, like holler at us, like we'll hook you up. So yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, my baby Louie is going to go out to uh, this girl that I know. Uh, she actually hosted seven people at her house last week. Okay. Um, she she like kind of hired them for free to build a fence for her. But okay. um, she did say, hey, you can sleep in our beds and, or on our grounds. Um, but she not only did she host those seven people, clean up the house, make the house spotless, raise two kids. We ended up dedicating Bo at our church today. Um Oh, I'm giving it away. Never mind. Uh, but <laughs> and then she hosted people again for lunch today, big old feast. And I look up thinking, wow, this babe is such a babe. <laughs> Turns out she's my wife. Oh, it was Catherine aw- Ellis. That's awesome. Yes. Same woman. Host all those people. Hey, host all the people is a great homemaker, not only a great homemaker, but intentional mom, intentional wife, just wonderful. A looker, by the way. Looker. My gosh. Hubba, hubba. Oh, hot dog. And so she's my wife, and I'm so thankful for her. So my babe of the week goes out to my wife, Catherine. Whew. Yeah. What a fun revelation to look up and just notice that. It's a, it is. It really is like a, wow, okay. I wonder if Isaac did that with Leonardo DiCaprio. He was just filming some guy in his backyard. Like, Turns oh, out, yeah. Wait. He was in Departed. <laughs> That's the Departed guy. <laughs> It'd be funny if you like had like a really... Uh, deep track, like deep cut, like instead of that's the departed. Hey, you're from uh, Gilbert Grape, right? <laughs> you're, you're that guy? You ate Gilbert Grape. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Johnny Depp? Is he in it too? I haven't seen that movie. I've never it's seen like it what either. women want, you know? It's one of my favorites. <laughs> I think he's on the, the cover. I think I've seen it as like a Netflix option. I've seen Young Leo on like oh, the, okay. the, the cover. Gotcha. I think. Okay. I don't know. That's good. Let's go into a voice memos. Great. Do you have any chargers? Hey, Jake and Brad. This is Abby from Houston, Texas. Uh, first off, just wanted to say I really love your podcast. Thank you. And you guys are hilarious. Thank you. Um, my two questions are, number one, what is your advice for a freshman in college? I'm going to be a freshman at Oral Roberts University. Um, I'm actually going in as a sophomore because I did dual credit in high school. So I'm only going to be there for three years. But what is your advice to just kind of make the most out of those years? I definitely want to do that because I'm spending a lot of money to go to this college. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then what is your favorite memory from y'all's freshman year? Um, so yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. Abigail, thank you for the voice memo. Thank you for the kind words. Um, <clears throat> we've answered this question a couple times on this podcast before. I know we did it with uh, Izzy going to Liberty. She asked us that question. We've done it uh, a couple times. So yeah, when you're looking back for what women want, Tell us if you also find this uh, <laughs> advice for us. So I think what would be most helpful is, Abigail, maybe we tell you some things to not do uh, 
your okay. freshman year of college. And we'll try to make them like generic, like things that like this, this would go for anyone. Like yeah. don't do these things in college. Okay. Don't do no shave November. If you're a girl. Okay. Or a boy. I don't think anybody <laughs> needs that. Um, yeah. Don't do no shave November. That's a good one. Don't do it. I would say, um, don't date a girl for a year <clears throat> and then break up with her before you go off to summer camp because you feel like your lives are heading in different directions and she's not the one for you <clears throat> and then come back from summer camp and realize that, Oh, she's already engaged and then she'll be married by December. And then it'll make <laughs> you question everything about what you had together. Um, and if any of it was real at all, I would say, don't do that. Don't do that. And that goes for anyone. I would say that to anyone. I, that's just generic right. advice. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because summer camp is like a, that's what everyone Because people love the summertime. Yeah. I would, don't assume that uh, shower shoes are, quote, a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, don't uh, get, don't do like two things that are seen as like very wrong by your private Christian university at the same time. Because then you might end up in a situation where you get called into the dean's office. Uh-huh. And after a few moments of going back and forth, you, you say, look, I didn't even realize it was that big of a deal. I'll delete the Facebook page. And then he says, what f Facebook page? Because <laughs> then what, will ha what might happen is then you'll realize, oh, he didn't even know about that. And you thought that's what you were being called into the dean's <laughs> office for and not about the video you made in the cafeteria. So just be careful what you give away in the dean's office okay, when you're yeah. in trouble be careful just uh, that yeah just in general because then you'll have to go to the a couple other people's office after that and then um it's just not good and then later that day was the day where the guy looked me in the eyes and told me i'm not funny brad what else would you say showed him though <laughs> i would say don't play your acoustic guitar and just assume that every girl likes it <laughs> like you're like oh i didn't even know you were listening to me don't do that if you're if abby you know or Abigail. Abigail. Sorry. Gail. Gail. Gailey. I gotta sneeze. Okay. <coughs> Don't write on the brick wall with dry erase marker and assume it will just come out really easily. Don't. Okay. Don't, Don't do it. Don't. Um, Don't, uh, like, with all your friends, like, freshman year of college, mm -hmm. think, like, oh, this will be funny because it has a fun name to it. Don't. Don't invent like a new activity called buck chucking where you get a buck double from Burger King. Well, you get several buck doubles from Burger King. What's a oh, a buck? I it costs a dollar. Yeah. It's a double cheeseburger. Don't get several buck doubles from Burger King and then keep them in their wrappers so that you can more swiftly launch them at people <laughs> that are on the sidewalk of towns you're driving in. Don't. And definitely don't like post a video of that on Facebook that <laughs> is hopefully not, sees. <laughs> hopefully not still online. Um, seriously, don't guys, seriously, don't, don't, don't do that. If I had any advice, it would be don't go buck chucking. Cause you'll look back and you'd be like, wow, I can't believe I threw burgers at, at humans. That's like pretty degrading. Although I was the only one who made contact that night. And I was like, man, I'm, I'm an athlete. <laughs> Regardless of that, you, you might, you timed it well, you might regret doing uh -huh. that later. It sounds like you really have some regrets for that. No, these are just, I'm just coming oh. up with this. I'm just thinking of things like, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, me what too. Would, what would every college freshman want to hear? I would say don't uh, wake up your fifth year senior um, international French student uh, who's having night terrors. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Just let him, let him ride it out. He says, oui, oui. He says, allez la bleu. I don't care. Just let it go. Just let him squirm. Yep. Let Sacre squirm. bleu. Um, trying to think, uh, you got any, you got any other advice, Brad? Uh, don't ride your longboard, uh, throughout campus, uh, with the blaring boom box that's blaring Mumford and Sons, thinking that everyone just loves Mumford and Sons because <laughs> somebody will say, Hey, we don't all love Mumford and Sons. Don't do that. Um, don't go to the, uh, <clears throat> The, the basketball, the, the college basketball game that's on like December 15th that all week they've been saying is Christmas themed. Don't go to that dress to the nines as a Christmas elf thinking that other people will be dressed up. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were going to say like, don't don't do like come as a turkey, you know, for Thanksgiving because people won't think it's funny. No, oh, you somebody, whoever. It just I would say just don't do that because I could see you. I don't know ending up in a situation where now you're not necessarily enjoying the game so much 
as random women are coming over saying, can you talk to my daughter? She wants to tell you what she wants for Christmas. <laughs> and then you're not even really getting to watch the game and you feel like an idiot, which at that point, it's fine. I would you might be a junior in college at that point. So your your shame is left at that point. But you just you don't get to watch the game as yeah, much. It's an upperclassman advice right there. Um, I will try to find a picture of that and put it on Patreon this week, though. I don't know why. I just now remembered that. Um, I remember when you were an elf, you went to Kappa at K-State, like when, since I'd known you. Dude, I've met so many, not so many, I mean, five different women since then, like in, or in late adult, late 20s adulthood who've been like, I've met you before. And I'm like, where? And they're like, not the elf. Kappa Christmas. And I go, no, not then. Not the, the things I used to do for Seriously, free. Yeah. For you were just free. like, sure, I'll do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. I've told two different people this week. I wouldn't DJ their wedding. It feels good. I'm turning people down. Now things have, have turned around for That's me. Awesome. Oh, I'm also man. shocked. I don't know. I don't know. I'm shocked how many people are still asking me to DJ their wedding. I'll just say that. Yeah. I feel like I've outgrown. Yeah, I feel like I've outgrown think, that a little bit. I and a know. lot of people keep asking. <laughs> And also just DJing a wedding. Like I'm honored that they want me and they think I might be talented at it, but it's a Spotify playlist. Yeah. It's, 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 it's easy a, enough these days. It's just, it just could get your friend who didn't quite make the usher or the list to just be up there and have a blast. You, yeah. You just fill in the blank. Like who do you know that's DJ to wedding before Jake Triplett has eventually <laughs> they're going to know somebody else that's DJ to wedding. And then they're going to be able to tell those people. But right now you are the one, like, I, don't, I can't think of very many people I know that have DJ weddings. Thank you, Brad. So that's you. And so eventually it's, it's not, it's not anything you're doing or not doing. Okay. That's what hey, I'm letting just, you know. Thank you. It's just, it's just off the top of the dome. So or maybe I'll put out a clause in there. That's like, I'll DJ your wedding, but I get three minutes. I get three minutes of just me in the microphone. Everyone has to listen. Cha cha slide part one. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. Okay. That's good advice. You got any more? Anyway, no, I think, I mean, I'm sure there's, there's plenty more, um, but we'll cap it there. You got, got one? Yeah, I got one more. Don't, let's see how I can phrase this to make it sound inconspicuous. Don't assume that the pool is quote unquote chlorinated, probably chlorinated enough to hide whatever you did in your shorts that made you want to jump in. Okay. <laughs> probably chlorinated enough. Yeah. Okay. That's a good that's, tip. That's it. That's all I got. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get on to reviews of the week, which is fun. Apple podcast is back working again. Hopefully, yeah. Our, our, po- our episodes are back up and we got several reviews this week, so it feels good. Heck yeah. Uh, do you want the good one, Brad? Um, sure. <laughs> yeah. You want me to say mine first though? Are you still pulling yeah. up? Okay. Uh, my, my review of the week is there. from gerbs underscore four one three, uh, says funniest and most refreshing pod. Jake and Brad are my favorite. They are so funny and authentic. I love how open and real they are to everyone and their great camaraderie. Great job spelling camaraderie, right? It's a tough word. They are clean and just overall great guys. Thanks so much for all the effort you guys put into this podcast. Keep it up. Heck yeah. Hey, thank you, Jerbs. I haven't seen that one yet. That's not on Apple. That's a charitable one. Okay. Uh, mine's from Steak's Not That Good Anyway. Oh, that's, that's, that's on you. You know, they, they're, they're, they're uh, rooting for you there. I think that's for me. Um, how to be sure he's the one. This is awesome. Yeah. My boyfriend and I were sitting on a swing by the water in Georgetown looking for places nearby to grab a snack while reading a menu on Google for a local cafe. He looked at me in the eyes, subcontext and said, I don't know if they have food, babe. It might be dot, 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 just drinks. Oh, baby. Right then and there. I knew he was the one he went and looked at ring. We went and looked at rings an hour later. Whew. Hot dog, my babe of the week is such a cool guy who honors the ghosty in me and even sometimes listen on his listens on his own so we can talk about it together. Love language. Fast forward a month, turns out he's my fiance. Hey, get on your feet or down on one knee in his case. Seriously though, this podcast is so fun, lighthearted and classy. Classy. I just finished dental school and things were pretty rough the last few months, but Ghost Runners helped keep my spirits up and gave me something to look forward to. Keep up the good work, Jake and Brad. Jake, we'll see you in Richmond. Oh, I didn't even see that part the first time reading through it. That's exciting. Yeah. Richmond. It's one of the first shows in October. That's going to be fun. I think in Virginia, they pronounce it Richmond. Richmond? Mm-hmm. It's Norfolk and R- Richmond. Richmond. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, all right. Well, keep the reviews coming. It's fun, yeah, fun yeah, that yeah. they're back. Fun that they're back. Uh, it is really fun. Brad, would you like to end this episode with a jingle? Let's do it, baby. Okay. Come on. Ready? Ready? Uh-huh. Oh, you, you ready? Let's go, ghosties. Oh, uh, that was from 
Brittany Evans. Oh, Bevins. Yep. That's what we call her. Bevins. Bevins. Brittany, well done. Yeah. I like that the best part, I forgot I saw double headphones on. What'd she claim there? The best part of being a ghosty is trying to find Jake a wife? The prerogative to find Jake a wife. That is, I am honored. Thank you. I thought about like trying to figure out how to reword it to the prerogative to find Jake a permanent co ghosty. Ooh. Or co hosty. Co hosty. Co hosty. But. I forgot until we started that I was going to do that. And it's I didn't okay, know the right it's words, okay, it's okay, and so it's okay. I went for it. Uh, still so, looking. Still looking. Permanent co-hosty. <laughs> uh, cool. We'll get there, baby. Well done, Brad. Six months for sure. Six months or less. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it. You'll be married. <laughs> uh, good sewed. Uh, like we already mentioned, a bunch of new stuff is on our website. Even if you, you, know, you can't afford it, you don't want to buy it, you've already bought other stuff, just go look at it. You know, yeah. It's just kind of fun to, yeah. to see what's up there. There's a bunch of fresh designs and uh yeah consider supporting us on patreon as well it's fun we seem to you know it's kind of hard to know sometimes if people are enjoying it or not but you can kind of tell like well no one's really canceling so i guess they sure yeah like a bunch of people joined when my dad had like an episode on mm-hmm. but then like i don't know like 98 percent of those people stuck around so i'm like all right good i think we're doing a good thing here people yeah. want to stick around it's kind of yeah. fun so to be in the inner circle so it's awesome we're gonna we keep posting it. videos and pictures and extra stuff and uh yeah thank you guys for all that you do uh listening buying supporting mm-hmm. uh new youtube channel featuring brad and i coming this week ghost Runners coffee club hopefully coming next week yeah and i think our basketball league starts up this week so we'll have some new stories for you yeah, guys yeah 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be good yeah yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah 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 all right love you guys it's 1 a.m do you know where your kids are if you're our parents you do goodbye